All right, seniors, we've been waiting four years for this assembly, so make sure you're on. State your full name. You already know my name. It's Sue. Susan Snell. And you were born in the town of? Chamberlain, Maine. I was born and raised there. When did you first meet Carrie White? In elementary school. We were in the same grade. I don't think I said a hundred words to her before this all began. Can you turn that down, please? I can't see. Tell us about the night of May 28th about the occurrences that led up to the alleged event? Alleged event? Oh, why do you keep asking me the same thing over and over again? Are you trying to catch me in a lie? Is that it? We need the truth. I've already told you what I know. How many more times do we have to go through this? Until it makes sense. Until we understand. What you need to understand is that we were just kids. <laughs>
up. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. And so. Shame on you. You believe her? Going off on me like that? Sue, shame on you. What's cutting into you? Besides Tommy Ross's tongue. Stop it. I mean, who does she think she is anyway? It's not like this was all my fault. Screw her. Who gives a damn what some lezzy gym teacher thinks anyway? Not a lesbian. At least I don't think she is. She's not, is she? Who cares? Details. Norma's already posted about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe any girl today could still be ignorant of the facts of life. And that's just it. When I tried to explain it to Carrie, she didn't seem to know what I was talking about. I mean, what are the odds? You saw her mother would have told her? And that mother of hers always ranting about how everybody's going straight to hell. Except her and her precious little Carrie. Oh my god, remember that time in third grade when she got down on her knees in the cafeteria? Praying with that Bible? And that dress, remember? <laughs> Praying Carrie, ugly, short, and hairy, all her friends are imaginary. <laughs> As usual, Chris Harkinson was the ring leader. No surprise there. But even Sue Snell was doing it. I'd expect a stunt like this from Chris, but Sue? All the girls were doing it. Well, you'll have to take care of it, Lynn. Read them the riot act. And that light bulb. Did you love it? <laughs> Pow! Her mother should have told Like her. mother, like daughter. Shh. She'll hear you. You care too much what people think. Oh, I almost forgot. My folks are away. Party at my house tonight. <laughs> Carrie, 
Go home and rest for the remainder of the day. We are all terribly sorry about this, Carrie. Skip gym this week. Take study hall instead. You know what Norma calls her? Scary white. <laughs> I just call her dumb bitch. What exactly is Tommy Ross's involvement in all this? Forget it. I'm not going there. Surely there's something. Please, Sue, tell us. He was an amazing athlete, but he was good at whatever he did on or off the field. He was my, my Tommy. 
And it was like hey, 8 o'clock and I didn't even study. Yeah. Heads up, Ross! Uh, Tommy Ross. Yo, Ross, you psyched for prom? Yeah, right. You ever seen me in a tux? I look like a freaking penguin. Hey, shut up, Tommy. You're gonna look great. <laughs> what? Hey, girls, eat that shit up. <laughs> anyway, you invited Sue yet? Tonight. I've sort of been waiting for the right moment. Dude, you wait much longer and prom's gonna be over. <laughs> hey, yo, fuckers, beep, beep, coming hey. through. Jesus, Billy, watch it. <laughs> so what are you girls up to? Oh, well, 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 if it ain't Prey and Carrie. Wonder who's taking her to the prom. <laughs> you? You? Oh. Her mother? Leave her alone, Billy. Oh, hey, baby, I bet you're a real hottie under all that. Yo, you're such an asshole. Oh, come on, church girl, dance with me. Hey, I'll make you see God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the hell? Hey, good one, Nolan. <laughs> How's your pussy, princess? <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at, huh? The goddamn bitch tripped me. Hey, you all right? Hey, Tom, you coming or what? Yeah, leave the freak. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to those clowns. They're just messing around. Welcome. Welcome, fellow travelers in the darkness. Welcome and fear no more. This is Reverend Matthew Bliss, coming to you across the blessed airwaves of WORD Radio, bringing you the true gospel of the Lord across the land. at the table for dinner, please. I have a lot of work to finish. Mama. Just as the laundry was about to close, Eleanor Snell came in with some last-minute alterations. I think the Snells are having a graduation party for Sue. She's in your class, isn't she? Mama, anyway, listen, Eleanor said she'd pay I'd... double, so I'll be up all night trying to get it all done. Heaven knows we can use the extra money. Mama, please! Something happened at school today! Something terrible! Terrible things are the Lord's way of testing us, Carrie. I know, Mama, but the other but girls, they started... You're not to the other girls. But m I am, Mama, I am. Um, you're not, I never Carrie, thought you're so, not. But... You're special. Special. You're not listening to me, Mama. I've heard all I want to hear. Now go sit at the table. Mama, in the shower, what I started to... What have I told to... you about showering with the other girls? I know, but if you would what just What have listen... I told you? Sin, it's a sin. And as such, it is forbidden. But Mama! Forbidden! I started to bleed! Mama, I started to bleed and the other girls laughed at me and called me names and I was so scared. Mama, why are you looking at me like that? Curse of blood. Mama, you're frightening me. Bow your head and pray, woman. And God made Eve from the rib of Adam. And Eve was weak and loosed the raven on the world. Mama, it wasn't and my the raven fault. was called sin. 
So God visited Eve with a curse, and the curse was the curse of blood. Say it, woman. And God made Eve from Adam's rib, and Eve was weak. Mama, how could I know? And Eve was weak. And Eve was weak. Why didn't you tell me? And God made Eve to bear the curse, the curse of blood. It's not a curse, Miss Gardner. The curse of blood. all girls go through. The curse of blood. You should have told me! You're a woman now. Pray to heaven for your wicked soul. Raven came to plague the world. His name was Sin. It's not a sin. His name was Sin. Oh, Mama, it's, it's not a sin. sin. And lust was how the sin began. Now understand. I don't understand. Now understand. No! Sin was man. What have I God done? God has seen your sinning just beginning. Pray for your salvation from the operation. incredibly close. We were the two most popular girls. Everyone just assumed we'd be friends forever. Suze! Hey, Suze. Let's celebrate. I've got some great news. What's up? Looks like we'll be going to college together after all. But I thought Brown turned you down. Yeah, well, Daddy pulled a few strings, and now I'm in, so we can be roomies. Is that perfect or what? <laughs> Party's here, bitches. Billy! Hey, Billy! <gasps> ah. Man, I'm starved. What do you got to eat? No offense, but you, you could have anyone. What do you see in him? Easy. He totally freaks out my old man. Daddy's already offered to buy me a new car. If I promise to stop seeing him, I'm holding out for a Beamer. <laughs> So, do you guys believe that stunt in the showers today? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What happened? <laughs> Carrie White happened. 17 freaking years old, guys, and this stupid spaz just stands there having her very first period. Oh my god! I'm dying! I'm dying! <laughs> Gross. The shower? Blood was dripping Whoa. down her leg like, yo, mom, I'm on the rug. <laughs> hey, I'm 
eating here. <laughs> Standing there squealing like a stuck pig. Chris, enough already. It's not funny. Guys, wait. <laughs> Sue's right. It's not funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetie. There's always a runt in every litter. A nobody. And our nobody is Perry. Guess what? Ever since the world began, same plot. Everyone's been dumping on their fellow man. Counting people they feel better than. I hope you take it because you feel everyone deserves a shot.
this week was exceeded only by Mr. Nolan. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you all very, very much. couldn't even be bothered to turn one in. I don't suppose you would care to offer an explanation? Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, my Sur God. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And for the record, Mr. Nolan, it is I haven't 
got anything. Oh, you ain't got nothing neither? <laughs> there is, however, a ray of light, one composition that touched me with the authenticity of its emotion, and I would like that person to recite his work for the rest of the class. Tommy Ross! Oh yeah, Tammy boy, way to go! One more word out of you, Mr. Nolan, and you can repeat this class for the third time, which God knows is something that neither of us can survive. <laughs> Tommy. Do I have to? Yep. Stand, please, and read your poem. Hey, go on, cat! <laughs> Dreamer in Disguise by Tommy Ross. Oh my god. An eagle's just another bird until he can spread his wings. Freddy, that looks like a plane, not a bird. Now shut up. The fuck? <laughs> A river is just a sheet of ice Till winter turns to spring And though the clouds may block the sun Don't mean that it's left the sky Just when you think you've seen it all There's more than meets the eye Like things I dream and things I Tommy. Yeah. All, all right, class comments. Well, don't all raise your hands at once. Come on, anyone? Anyone at all? <laughs> Carrie White? <laughs> Excellent. Speak up, please, Carrie, and share your thoughts with the class. It was beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Like beautiful for amber waves of gay. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Billy girl. Oh. Shut up, Billy. Hey, go on, Carrie. How did the poem speak to you? I think. I think it says that just because something or someone seems one way, it doesn't mean that it is that way. And I think I'm going to hurl. <laughs> All right, quiz next time, class. If I were you, I would brush up on your Moby Dick, the book, not the movie. All right, now get out of here. The yeah, Frida. Come on, Sue. We've got a prom committee meeting. Start with Almy. I'll be there in a minute. You got it. Hi, Carrie. That was nice, really nice, what you said about Tommy's poem. I thought it was beautiful, too. Look, um, about yesterday, you know, what happened. I don't know, things just short, sort of got out of hand, and I just wanted you to know- Haven't that. you had enough? Do you think you could just go on tricking me forever? My, my. Little Mousy's got a temper. <laughs> Sue's?
eyes front? Well, aren't you just the bunch to send off to graduation and out into the world? Get off your phone, Norma. <clears throat> and prom's next Saturday, too. You'll be going with Tommy Ross, I imagine. And Chris, well, I bet you can take your pick. Who's the lucky guy? Billy Nolan. Who? Billy Nolan. <clears throat> well, isn't that perfect? Do any of you ever stop to think that Carrie White has feelings? Do any of you ever stop to think, wipe that smirk off your face, Norma? You know, ladies, life is all about making choices, about making the right choice. I just want you all to know that yesterday you made the wrong one and did a really <laughs> shitty thing. So this is how it's going to go down. You're each going to apologize to Carrie. What? what? Apologize to her. <laughs> Forget it, I won't. Well, that's up to you, Chris. That's up to all of you. And if we don't? And if we don't? Do you really want to find out? That goddamn scary white, this is all her fault. Let it go, Chris. Why are you taking her side? This isn't about sides. What did Carrie White ever do to you? Or to any of us? Well, well. Aren't we getting to be the Joan of Arc around here? Oh, wait. Remind me. Who was that in there pitching with the rest of us? I was. But I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. <gasps> Little Miss Perfect is sorry. Hey, everybody. <gasps> Susie is sorry. Susie <laughs> is sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies, you've all got something to say to Carrie. Who's going first? Carrie? Carrie, I'm sorry. Frida? Sorry, Carrie. Your turn, Norma. Sorry. Minnie, Kendall. Sorry. sorry. Helen, Melanie. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Chris, let's hear it. When goddamn pigs fly. We're waiting, Chris. I can't hear you. Please, it's okay. <clears throat> Carrie. Carrie, I You don't just... have to do this. Carrie White? Eat shit! Oh, that's oh, it, <laughs> Parkinson. You're out of the prom. Oh, what? You heard me. You're what? out. End of story. You can't get away with this. Watch me. Ew! The period's not <laughs> over yet. There's still ten minutes left. Stick them up your ass! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh, 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 Class is oh, My daddy's a lawyer. He will sue your ass. Shut up! You will never get oh, another god. job. Get teaching. moving. She all of you. Can't get away with this if we all just stick together. Helen? <laughs> Norma? Oh, um. Sue? Shut up, Chris! Just shut up! Not everything's about you. You can all go to hell! Carrie? Carrie, if I'd had any idea things were going to go like this, I would have never Ms. Gardner, tried to- Miss Gardner, you've got to let Chris go. You've just got to. What are you talking about? Prom. It's very important to her. And what's right is important to me. But prom is everything to those girls. It's the one night a year they all get dressed up. And they look beautiful. It's like a dream. A perfect dream. And what about you? Me? Oh no, I, I'm not going. I'm different. Not that different. Yes, I am. They've all got somebody. So will you. One day you'll see. Things change. I'll tell you what. Let's pretend. Oh, Miss Gardner. Just for a minute, pretend that the right someone comes up to you and says, Carrie, will you be my date for prom? Well, what would you say? No. Carrie. <laughs> Why not? I'm not pretty. Sure you are. Come over here. See there? That's a pretty girl. So many years you face the world alone, frightened that life might pass you by. Then he appears, someone who smiles.
this car here. You never will if you don't give it a chance. Now listen to me. You're a beautiful young lady. This you, silly you. Those eyes with the bright shade of lipstick. Lipstick, but my mother would never oh, let me. Carry with the perfect dress, it could be wonderful. the same thing. You go first. No, not you. Okay. So I was thinking, you know how everything's laid out in front of us? Our whole future's all planned out. Yeah. Well, I thought I might try something different. Different? Yeah. Like, what if I put the whole sports thing on hold and see if I have what it takes to be a writer? Too much. Uh, I knew it was stupid. I was. No, no, it's epic. Epic. Yes, you could be an amazing writer. Yeah. You think so? Thank you. Uh, so, what did you want to ask me? Nothing. That's okay. Hey, come on. What's really been going on with you? You wouldn't understand. That's not fair. Try me.
Hi, it's Friday here with a quick announcement. Don't forget to pre-order your prom photos for Saturday night. I'm getting all Annie Leibovitz. So guys, suit up. And ladies, clothing is optional. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. What are you doing here? So this is where you live, huh? Aren't you gonna ask me in, or? Mama, Mama's resting. What do you want? Wow, uh, right to the point, huh? Okay. If you don't have a date, do you wanna go to prom with me this Saturday? Prom? I know it's late notice, but we be- I, I don't like to be tricked. Come on, Carrie, I'm not- I know who you hang around with. I don't hang around with anyone I don't want to. Why are you doing this? Because I want to. No, you're not. I don't know. Maybe because you liked my poem. Come on, Carrie, just say yes. I can't. Yes, you can. Will you go to prom with me? Carrie, supper! In a minute, Mama. You'd better go. Not till you say yes. I'd love to. Then do it. It'll be all right. Whatever are you doing out there? Please, if she finds you here... Say yes and I'll go. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. Carrie! Good. You knew I would. Um, no. But I do now. I'll pick you up at eight. Fine. Thank you.
I don't know what you've been dreaming about tonight, Carrie. You've hardly touched your supper. Now have some pie. It makes me have pimples, Mama. Nonsense. As Peter says, the only beauty that matters is the precious light that comes from within. you going on about, Carrie? Being different is the Lord's blessing. Mama, people think I'm strange. All the kids have called me names. And just don't listen to them. It is written, he who hears my voice alone shall be saved. Mama, can't we stop and talk? There's this boy named Tommy Ron. Marietta. I've been invited to. Nothing 
Turning to the night of May 28th, what can you tell us about the events leading up to the prom? Prom, it was meant to be a celebration, the biggest night of our lives. It was supposed to be the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be a night we'll never forget. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be a night we'll never forget. I swear I'll die. We will never look back when we die.
only, if only, if only what? If only that day in the showers hadn't happened. If only I hadn't asked Tommy to take Gary to prom. If only someone had listened and paid attention. Sue. If only I could go back and- Sue, are you listening? Sorry? Well, why did Tommy ask Carrie to prom? I thought we could help her, get her to join in and I don't know. Make her a part of things? What could you possibly be thinking? This is really none of your business. Excuse me? What is the big deal? It's a very big deal to Carrie. And don't you think you'll look a little ridiculous when you show up to prom with her? We don't care how we look, right, Tommy? Well, now that you mention Seriously? it, Seriously? I... Great. <laughs> Clearly, you two have a lot to discuss. Listen to me, and listen good. Hurt Carrie in any way, and you'll have me to answer to. I thought we were on the same page about this. We are. Then why are you having second thoughts? Tommy, you don't have to go through with this if you don't want to. Look, I said I'd do it and I will. I thought we agreed to help Carrie and now you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you, I'm just... I'm disappointed. I wanted to take my girl with me to prom. And I wanted to make things right. Look, all this high school drama, all this stuff, none of it means anything and before you know it, it's all gonna be over. What about us? Are we gonna be over too? What? Is that what you're worried about? Babe, a month from now, we will be off backpacking through Europe, and in all of this will seem like ancient history. Promise? I promised you I'd show you the world, didn't I? What are you doing? Just come with me. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hail, alma mater. Oh, Mr. Stevens, here you go. Thank you for picking up the ballots, Norma. I really appreciate it. Anything you need, Mr. Stevens. Hey, you guys, leave the decorations. We'll finish them after lunch. Last one out gets the light. Chicken patties. Did you do what I told you? Don't I always? All set and ready to go. You're such a good friend, Norma. Tommy. Just keep your eyes closed for one more sec, okay? All right, you can open them now. Oh my God. We may not have tomorrow night, but we have right now, and that's all that matters. Now, I'm pulling up in my dad's car, and you're in your pink dress. Ooh, you always looked so good in blue. And, and I'm wearing my rented tux, looking like a total dork. And the whole thing's kind of cheesy, but nice. And, and you drag me out onto the dance floor, and of course, I hate dancing, but it's the last dance of senior year, and, and I am with you, the most incredible person I know. Me? Yeah, right. All I do lately is mess up. Hey, you don't give yourself enough credit lately. I mean it. If you could see the way that you look to me, I bet that you'd be amazed at the sight. Tommy. You'd see a heart that's fearless and true. From my point of view, oh, Everything always so easy for you. Man, the only you. Half the time I'm just faking it, hoping no one will discover that I am a complete fraud. I think you hide so much you feel inside, but I know deep down there's a fire burning bright. From where you stand, it might not be seen. You shine from.
back. Get out of here. <laughs> Damn. I gotta pick up my tux before they close. Tommy. Thank you. I love you. I love you. He'd never said that before. That's what I remember most about that day. No doubts. No more fears. I see you shine and the dark disappears. go. I know you don't understand, but I'm trying to protect you. I don't need your protection, Mama. I won't let you go. I don't want to fight with you. Now I have to finish getting ready. Stay here instead. Just tell me what you'd like to do. We'll talk and we'll laugh. And I'll sing to you, and I promise. 
Change your mind. You'll say nothing, Mama. You'll stay here and not say a word. Carrie? You mustn't go, for straight is the gate and narrow is the path to salvation. The Lord has said there will be a day of judgment and an angel with his sword and his arm, and on that day there will be reckoning. Carrie! It has been foretold. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to crimson red, and there shall be a rain of blood. <laughs> Put it on. Please. Am I all right? Yeah. You're beautiful. Did not God himself command Abraham to take his son Isaac upon the mountain and sacrifice him? She must be sacrificed. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. When there's no one, there is darkness. All the light that used to shine that once was mine.
Once you get to know him. <laughs> it's all so strange. I hope they'd be okay. You are. Now you saw how they treated you. Hold it right there, you two. All right, this one's for posterity. And that's a keeper. Carrie? Oh, Miss Gardner, you look incredible. You too, Carrie. You look absolutely amazing. Hi, Miss Gardner. Tommy? 
Why don't I go get us something to drink? That would be nice. Miss Gardner? Why, thank you, Tommy. I'd love that. Are you going to be okay? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> What are you doing? Trying to memorize it all. Every single detail. So tell me, is it everything you dreamed? It's nice. Just nice? It's, it's like being on Mars. Now that I'm here, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I remember my prom. I went with the captain of the basketball team. He was six feet, seven inches tall. So I went out and bought these stiletto heels so that our kiss and I could be a little less awkward. Anyway, we went in his pickup truck, which of course broke down. So we had to walk the last half mile to prom. Oh no! By the time we got there, I had so many blisters that all I could do was sit. I was sure I ruined the night. I couldn't dance. But instead, we just sat and talked. You know what? out to be one of the best nights of my entire life. So I guess I'm not the only one who's ever felt like that. You won't. Cheers, you two. Have a lovely time. Um, how about a dance? Oh, no, I couldn't. Come on, don't be so nervous. Not yet. All right. Um, at least you didn't say no. Do you really have to be home by 12? Yes, I promised. Sorry. No, it's fine. After prom, a few of us are gonna- Okay! Go what? No, no, if you want to go off with your friends, I don't want to spoil anything. What I was gonna say is, if you wanted to, maybe we could stop in at the Blazer for a little while. I've never been there before. They have the best fries. I'd love to. All right then. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. It's time to vote for your prom king and queen. Woo! Woo! This contest insults women. Yeah. This contest insults men. Oh, uh, people, uh, please. When you receive your ballots, vote for your favorite couple. Tommy, we're on here. Yeah, I see. Do you want to decline? Do you? No way. If you win, all you have to do is go up there and, and they sing the school song and, and they take a picture so years from now, your kids can remember what idiots you were. <laughs> well, who do we vote for? They're more your crowd than mine. I don't really have a crowd. Let's vote for ourselves then. To hell with false modesty. To hell with it! Now. About that dance. Tommy. Come on, just take my hand and, and don't look down. Look right here. And forget about everything else. It'll be alright. And he was just another bird until he was red his wings. A river is just a sheet of ice to winter turns to spring. Time. 
everybody think that I helpless. There was nothing I could do. I followed the path of destruction. It led from the school through the town up Chamberlain Street to Carrie's house. That's where I would find her. He who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live and never die. I and the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live and never die. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live and never die. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live and never die. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth Mama. in me. Oh, my angel. My poor angel. Mama, you were right. They all laughed at me. My girl, my sweet, sweet girl. Mama, please hold me. <laughs> it's all right now. You're home. You're safe. We're together. Baby, don't cry now. No more tears. Mama will save you from all your fear. Ooh, lullaby now, Mama is here. Carrie, always remember that I love you. My love is so deep, I carry. Smile at the angels up above. Be sleep. I love you, Mama. I love you, Carrie. 
One day you find the 